up, humanoid nation? So, the Royal Rumble has passed us by, and it's still being talked about. Probably not really. Well, this Royal Rumble they did sort of fuck us over, but not like how they did two years in a row before, where people were massively pissed. But this one, people are still pissed, but it's not that big of a pissed off sort of deal. Yeah. Anyways, Adam from WWE What Culture. Let's do this, like WWE Royal Rumble 2016. What just happened? Let's do this. Hello, I'm Adam from WhatCulture.com, and this is what just, just happened. happened. Now, if it isn't obvious by the mm, sadness, I am. It's, very, very drunk now. Now, that's... <laughs> a not, lot of people were... Mm, but uh, yeah, so, the Royal Rumble was great. Now, as an entirety, as an event... As, oh, the entirety? Uh, as totality, yeah, it was... It, it was really okay. good. First hour. Ambrose versus Owens. Great. Art, Almost a match of the night. So many great spots. They killed each other. Brilliant. They fucking killed each other. Good. New Day versus the Usos. I was, it was really I somewhat liked it. Oh, it's good. It was good. I was good. I was, it was nice. I liked it. I like Drunk Then He's a funny guy. Kalisto versus Alberto Del Rio. The right person won. Kalisto given this huge. The right person won, but we were still surprised the by the victory like, what the in the fuck? Rumble match. Capitalized. The match could have gone on a couple more minutes, but I thought it was great. And then Becky versus Charlotte, one of the finest Divas matches I've seen in a very long time, especially on the main roster. There was an actual clear story. There was some sort of momentum going. The challenger, the champion, they both had The Divas had Revolution is not that great in, a, was, in the main roster. Mm -hmm. They can't the Divas Revolution that great. Royal Rumble match. Now, a couple of things. First of all, AJ Styles! Hell yeah. Number three? When his music started, now, I seriously thought it was Reverend Devon for a second. AJ. Reverend, yeah, Reverend Devon? No? Okay. Now, a lot of people are annoyed because Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, all these, all these popular guys, they got eliminated. But I think this was a great rumble, and here's why. A lot of my, you know, favorites got eliminated. A lot of these guys who I thought were absolutely going to win the big one, they got cast out. But with storylines to match, AJ Styles got eliminated by Kevin Owens. AJ that was a perfect elimination. Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. Kevin Owens eliminating AJ Styles. Can you imagine? I didn't get bothered Ambrose by that. If it was someone else, Jericho, I would have been that pissed. That match was set up. There was Brock Lesnar versus Bray Wyatt. I'd be fine with that. Lesnar versus Wyatt. Yeah. And then that's Reigns a good match. Versus Triple H. Set it up for me. Beautifully. So. So. But Triple, Triple H versus Triple H. Roman Reigns WrestleMania. Uh, new champion. Not he looking forward to that. He is an old man with a head that's sort of like it's, cr it's creased. It's like pushed in, and he's got those shoulders that go like out to here. He's like, Triple H is basically the Hulk Hogan of now because he just keeps on going and doesn't stop. He's a champion now. Because he must do shit. I like that. I like that because. Or is it, that just it's, me? It's, it's, it's the sort of thing that gets people angry because he shouldn't be the champion. No, and he's part time. But get Brock Lesnar was part time. Like Look what happened. From last, it was nice. And Ambrose versus Triple H. It was a great combination. Basically, this was, this was a rumble that was full of great little spots. AJ coming out. Absolutely amazing. Absolute chaos. Everybody went nuts. Zach's getting eliminated. It was fun. And then Brock Lesnar coming out. Big Show getting eliminated by Braun Strowman. Don't like Boring. Braun Strowman. No one cared. Chris Jericho lasting for a godly time. But Chris Jericho godly lasts a God, usual amount of time godly. in Royal Rumbles. He it's not that fine. big of a deal. It just... Now, there was a lot of Rumbles, top ropes, bottom ropes. I'm in a very bad way. I missed out on Kofi Johnson's elimination. Uh, what? Basically, what I'm saying is this: the first pay-per-view of 2016, the first hour was amazing. Second hour was fine. Third hour was really, really good. As far as it goes. 
the Royal Rumble has been a huge success. Depends on who you're talking. Like I said, depends on who you're talking. 16, first pay-per-view, tick. Done right. Basically, most things felt like they had a story behind it, with one exception. Sami Zayn, it didn't quite feel like they had a thing for him to do. He turned up. He just came out of pop. nowhere. I thought he was still injured, but he just came out of nowhere. I mean, he got rid of Kevin Owens. Great. Maybe there's a match there. But I prefer Owens versus AJ and Sami Zayn. How about a triple threat match? Stay in a, Owens, Zayn, and... That whole... No, Owen Zayn and that AJ was the only thing. Styles. That, that was would be the a only fucking real amazing match. felt like it didn't have a game plan behind it. Every other elimination, like Brock Lesnar getting... You know, there were lots of reasons to boo in the Royal Rumble. But the point is, these boos were earned by heels. There was actual heel heat involved. And that's pretty incredible. Like last year, Daniel Bryan got eliminated and... And the crowd was, was pissed so the entire night. Thing. Whereas AJ versus Owens, there's a match right there. A match that you can yeah. foster and can grow into a really beautiful wrestling minute. Anyway, I'm, I need to go to sleep. Final four. Final four? Royal Rumble. Owens versus Ambrose. Wonderful. Usos versus New Day. Lovely. I still, it was meh, that the tag team match. Kalisto versus Alberto Del Rio. It was a shame that old Kalisto missed that spot and landed on his head. That was a shame. I look and the match could have been a couple of more minutes. I missed that. That's fine. Right what happened? Over. Becky versus Charlotte. Ric Flair kissed her. I'm not sure that was planned in advance. It's Ric Flair. Ric Flair he does whatever the do. fuck he wants. Either way. It was nice. He exposed himself on an airplane. Oh, like too soon. In the Rumble match. Here's oh, the thing I about Roman that. Reigns before I go. Remember the plane ride from hell? You want to put Roman Reigns over. You're not going to have him win. You're going to have him come third last. You have I'll to tell you why I'm the nature the boy. Woo! The is by taking Roman Reigns and stretching him out for three quarters of the match. We don't live in the world where we believe that anymore. We just don't live in that world. All we see is a transparent effort to protect Roman Reigns. All we see a cigar is in the back, making boy. sure that nothing bad off. happens to Roman Reigns, wrapping him in bubble wrap and taking him out of the match. Now, last year, Roman Reigns, one of the reasons he got booed so much was because it felt like he was protected way too much by napping in the corner. This year, even worse. He was he took, taken out of the match and got to rest backstage. Halfway. Most of it. Half a match. I mean, he didn't win, thank God. But still, if you want Roman Reigns to look strong, if you want to build this huge story going to WrestleMania, taking him out of most of the match felt like a huge mistake. Apart from that, there was lots of love in the Rumble. AJ Styles, welcome. Kevin Owens, did great. Chris Jericho, cool. White family, awesome. Lesnar, cool. Raw Rumble was fun. Raw, it's Raw Rumble. And exciting. Is he really once. drunk or is he just acting? I'm Adam from I What Culture. I seriously think he's really drunk. This has been the first pay per view of 2016. This is what just happened. Sam, good luck with editing this. I'll see you soon. Comment below. So, yeah, Adam. Definitely drunk off his ass. <laughs> you know. I'm unbelievably drunk. What a terrible bunch of drinking rules. Um, talking about you know, and just okay. And hey, while we have you, why not celebrate the relentless passage of time by buying What Culture's first ebook, The 100 Worst There's an e-book? Moments of I am so getting that. Written by Andrew Sosick with a foreword from me. Only three pounds. It's currently the ranked number one selling wrestling book on Amazon. Check the description for a link. Worst wrestling moments of 2015. Anytime John Cena shows up. <laughs> All right, so it was Roman Reigns. Reigns? Reigns. The problem with Roman Reigns is like when people used to love him back when he was in the Shield, he was like an unstoppable monster. It was cool. But then he went all single and they made him into the Samoan John Cena, which people just couldn't stand. They like him, but then they turned him into the Samoan John Cena. Yeah, we tend to bitch a lot. I admit it. We wrestling fans are very fickle when it comes to this shit. We like our guy there, but
But when they turn him into a different version of John Cena, we ain't taking that shit. Also, um, is it me or is anybody else pissed off that already John Cena may have a match with Undertaker at WrestleMania because he's like in the gym, like pumping his fuck up, pumping his shit up. Because like already he's like saying, oh, I'm gonna try. I was like, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. He's pulling the thing he did a couple years ago where he showed up at the Royal Rumble. Well, he's, he didn't show up at the Royal Rumble this year, but you know what I'm talking about. Fuck Cena, man. God dang it. Can I have one WrestleMania where you're not in this shit? That's all we ask for. One fucking WrestleMania where we don't have to deal with your fucking bullshit. Otherwise, that's why I'm gonna turn up this Sunday. I'm gonna see it. I don't know what I'm gonna react to certain matches. I don't. Oh, I'm gonna react to AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho because that's gonna be a fucking amazing match. It, it really is. But anyways, that's it for now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye.